With the ever-increasing use of Teams, Microsoft Teams, as you see here on the screen, within our environment, backing up that data becomes more critical to the operations of our organization. And so today I'm going to walk you through some of the good and the bad about backing things up uh, inside of a Teams environment to include Planner and OneNote as well. So stay tuned. We're going to walk through some power um, automate flows here, two of them actually. One on creating files to a, a folder. So how to do a folder backup between two folders and I'll walk you through that. And then the second is how to do it based on files and um, how to do specific files within the environment. So two different ways to look at the same problem. Stay tuned. We're going to jump right to it. I know this can get confusing very fast. So hold on. Uh, we're going to try, I'm going to try to make it as easy as possible. Notice here that we have uh, tests in this test environment here. We have um, right here, partner two, and we have one channel here called general and the other one called number two. Now remember, these are both public channels. They could be a private and a public channel, it doesn't matter. And you can add different people access to have access to those. But here's the important thing. If you're using planner and teams, notice when I click on files here, all of my files are here and I put general so that we know where they are. This is certificate and workout plan. So these are two files that I've just added to my system because I clicked on files and I dumped my files in there. All good. Now I'm working inside a planner and I click on my files here. So I want to either add a file or I want to add a different, uh, excuse me, files to a different location. Now I get pulled into a different location. So if you notice here, we just see general, and if you notice here, when we're inside of that document, we're seeing the two channels, and we're seeing our file no bugs. So, this can get confusing real easy, because this is inside of SharePoint, and this, you're not really sure where the files are, but they're in SharePoint, because if you look here, you'll see both of the files here, general, and then this is your second channel, number two channel, and you see two different files there. And then this right here at the root, what we would call the root of the folder is the no bugs. Now, they've added recently this in channels so that you can kind of see this because everybody gets confused over this. And when you highlight, notice here it says Teams. And so now we can link back to the channel itself. But that's just kind of an introduction of kind of how messy it gets within Office 365 when our files get kind of spewed all over the place. And it's okay when we're working in the environment because we get accustomed to adding files here and, and files are going and they're being stored and everything seems to be copacetic. The problem is when we have to back up those files, or we have to recover the files, we need to be able to do that in a logical manner so that we, we don't lose our mind in a consistent manner. So how does that work? So let's go ahead and take a look at the script here. The first thing we wanna do is when we do a backup, we wanna set up another environment. So this is personal, okay? When you look at this, here I'm in partner two's area here I'm in personal area. So you want an area where your administrators have access to it, but you can set up a target. And notice here I set up a folder called Backup Target. Now within Backup Target, I've listed out some of the teams that I have. This one here called Akati, and this one here called Partner 2. And if we drill in, for example, we can see all of the information. There's General of what we received, remember when we looked at general here, here, right? Although this is in partner two, not Akati, but you can see the files just kind of, where am I? There we go, right there. So let's stick with partner two here. When we do partner two's backup, notice here that we have general and number two, and we have all the files in the root as well. Now the reason why we have the files in the root as well is because we're copying files 
and folders in this demo so I can show you. But if you notice here, those files are also within those folders, okay? So we have all of the data here, but interesting enough, there is no bugs, which is the file right here. This is called no bugs, okay? So we have all the data, it's moving over to the target. So how do we do that consistently every single time? So I've gone ahead and drawn this out and written a few notes here so you can kind of follow along. But generally speaking, uh, this is what we need to do. So in order to back up the, your files, you really have two, you really have two options. You can back them up, let me go down to this one. You can back them up um, with specific files, okay? Or you can back up folders. So whichever one you want. So let's take a look at this. This is the one for the folders. So here we have a recurrence set at weekly and we're gonna do this at 1 a.m. on Saturday morning as an example. Here what we're saying is we're gonna copy the data from partner 22 this is my source file right here, partner 22, which is this team's environment. So I'm going to copy all the data from partner 22, and I'm going to move it to my another team called personal backup target. And you can see that right here. So you'll click on here, add the address in, and then click on which folder you want to migrate. This one here is the destination folder. And the destination folder says, where do I want to put the data? So I want to put it over here inside of personal. And notice here, I'm putting it into partner two, right, to that folder. And I'm choosing to replace. So I'm saying I want to go into the partner two folder. Let me go back to the backup. Um, I have too many tabs open here. There we go. So here, I want to put it into this folder right here, partner two. Okay, and then I want to create a second folder, copy folder for the next folder. So the first one I copied general, the general channel. Now I'm copying the number two channel. Okay, so if you look at the actual files, um, let's take a look here, partner two. You see the two channels right there, general number two. And if you look at it right here, you can see the two because each one of them we'll have a little different files. This one has data cleanup and certificate. And this one here has certificate and workout plan. So similar files in each of them, but different. Okay, so you wanna make sure you're backing up both of them. So that's how you back up just the folders themselves. If you wanna back up the files, we're gonna set the same recurrence that we set above. Now what we wanna do is we wanna go out and get the file properties. So we're gonna get files and we're gonna, this is the source directory. So we wanna get this from the source directory. And here are the folder names that we're getting them from, okay? Then we wanna start by just type in copy file and this apply to each loop will come up, but type in copy file. And this is your current site right here. This is the source file, right? And in our case, that's partner two, this is our source, okay? And then we're gonna put in our target site again. And this one's gonna do it based on files. So this one, we're looking at the files that are over there and copying over, whereas this one, we're doing folders and we're copying those. So each one of these scenarios is a little bit different and it's going to um, have different pros and cons for you, but that's kind of uh, how you back up, either using folders or files, and it does not include, um, sorry about that, it does not include OneNote files, and we'll go over OneNote files, but it does include, as you can see here, it does include, um, well, where where is it? It does include right here, it will include those planner files for you. Good luck.